When does an 18-foot steel beam become more than just a 7,000-pound piece of metal? The answer is simple. It's when that same steel beam toppled from the skies on September 11th, 2001. Certainly, if you did a you did a chemistry test and found out what is that, they'll tell you it's steel. It was more than just a building. Um, for 3,000 people, it was where they never got to go home from. Outside Hangar 17 at the John F. Kennedy Airport Tuesday, Bill Baroni shared his memories. Being the deputy director of the New York, New Jersey Port Authority, he may remember more than most. The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey built the original Twin Towers. Uh, the first World Trade Center attack in 1993 killed seven of our employees. In 2001, amongst the nearly 3,000 people who were killed, uh, we also lost 84 of our employees, 37 Port Authority police officers. Here inside Hangar 17, it's absolutely surreal. It's the place where these steel beams from the fallen World Trade Center have been stored for so many years. And it's not just the steel beams, it's the destroyed subway cars, police cruisers, even a fire truck that responded that day. It's this 18-foot piece of steel once stored inside, now loaded on a truck destined for Erie, Pennsylvania. A request granted Tuesday for City Councilman Mark Alexandrovich. I don't know what to say. It does make you proud. Yes. As we get close to the 10th anniversary, we've been delivering pieces of steel, like the one that's going to go to Erie today, uh, to be part of memorials all across the country and across the world. A local memorial with one purpose. We shall never forget and, and keeping you know, the artifacts in front of us right. is a way that we will not forget. It once supported one of the tallest buildings in New York City. Its new purpose is clear, shining light on one of the darkest days in all of America. Reporting from New York City, I'm Vince Slomsky.